Hello. You can tell I'm on a roll because I'm wearing the same clothes. So I'm filming these all on the same day. Look at me. But let's go over um, your next math assignment. So this will be for workbook exercise 22. And this is more subtracting decimals. So it's the kind of things you've been doing um, should make a lot of sense by now, hopefully, and not be too difficult, but we're just going to go over some more. So get out your textbook to, and flip open to page 38. 38. I'm going to get my thing ready. Okay, page 38. Let's get to subtracting. So, first things first. Up at the top of the page, it has subtract 8 hundredths from 4.2. So, 4 whole and 2 tenths. So, obviously, that's going to be the bigger number. 8 hundredths. Here, in your book, let's just, I'm going to draw out that chart for us to tenths and hundredths. I'm going to abbreviate hundredths. Two, three, four. We have two tenths. Okay. And hundredths. So I've drawn out my 4.2, right? I have four ones, two tenths. I've got nothing in my hundredths place, so that's going to be a problem. How can I subtract eight hundredths if I don't have any hundredths at all? So I'm going to have to rename something. I'm going to have to rename one of my tenths. Can I do this? Okay, to ten hundredths. Okay. Okay, now I still have four in my ones place. Now I only have one in my tenths place, and I have ten hundredths. I'm subtracting eight hundredths, so let me mark out eight of them. Okay, here we are. I have four ones, one tenth, and two hundredths left. So my answer would be 4.12. Okay. And now I'm going to write it vertically. Okay. I wrote it out without my zero. Remember, if I didn't write my zero there and I forgot what was what was supposed to be here, and I just brought down my eight, I would get the wrong answer. So I'm going to go ahead and add my zero. Okay. Notice again, I line up my hundredths with my hundredths, tenths with tenths, ones with ones. Okay. I cannot subtract eight hundredths from zero hundredths. That's where I have to rename. I'm going to rename my two into ten hundredths. I still have one tenth left. Ten hundredths minus eight hundredths is two hundredths. One tenth minus zero tenths is one. Four ones minus zero ones is four. Get the same answer. Okay. All right, now let's go on down to 23. 23. This, we have six ones and it wants us to subtract 2.7. I'm going to draw out our thing again. Okay. I'm going to draw out my six ones. Okay, so I have six ones, zero tenths, and zero hundredths. To be able to subtract two Point seven, so I have to subtract seven tenths, right, from from nothing. I'm going to go ahead and trade in one of my ones. Okay. Okay. 
so now I have five ones left and ten tenths. I'm taking away seven tenths from my ten tenths. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I have three tenths left. So my answer will be 5.3. Okay. I don't know if that's correct. That isn't correct because <laughs> not only did I subtract two sevenths, two tenths, not two, oh, seven tenths from ten tenths. I need to subtract two ones from six ones. I forgot to do that part. So let's subtract two of my ones from the five I had left. So here's what my answer will be. I subtracted my two ones from the five ones I had left. So I have three ones and three tenths. So my answer will be 3.3. I'll set it up vertically. <laughs> I make mistakes all the time too. Just gotta keep going and learn from them. Mistakes are so good to learn from. I set it up vertically. Okay, notice here. Oh, I don't need a hundredth place. I cannot subtract seven from zero tenths. So I'm going to have to rename my six. I have five ones left. Traded one of my ones in for ten tenths. 10 minus 7 is 3. 5 ones minus 2 ones is 3. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and work on sum of 24 together. Pull out a whiteboard or a piece of paper. Remember, you can pause me if I move too fast. Um, so let's start with 24a. 4.9 minus 1.3. You do it there, I'll do it here. Pause me if you need to. Okay. Subtract 9 tenths, or subtract 3 tenths from 9 tenths. We get 6 tenths. Subtract 1 1 from 4 1s, and we get 3. Okay. Let's move on to B, as in boy, 5.2 minus 1.7. Here I did not have enough tenths with just two to subtract seven from, so I renamed my five to be four ones, and I added 10 new tenths to my two, so this became 12 tenths minus seven is five, and then four ones minus one is three. Okay, let's do C, it's a cat. Okay. And 5.5 minus 2.8. Okay. With just 5 tenths, I didn't have enough tenths to subtract 8 from. I went to my ones place, made traded in one of my ones for 10 tenths, making this 15. 15 minus 8 is 7. Then I had four ones left over, minus two ones, was two. All right, let's do one more. Let's do F, as in frog. Okay. 
I did not have enough tenths to subtract from. So I traded in one of my ones to make 10 tenths. 10 tenths minus 2 tenths is 8 tenths. 7 ones minus 3 ones is 4. So 4.8. Hopefully that's making lots of sense to you. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Miss y'all.